Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will show you how you will going to create the Power BI card KPI. So card KPI is like a very much highlighted number you must have seen in various reports or dashboard that a particular number or a series of numbers have been highlighted with a bigger font size and those are nothing but the card KPI within the Power BI and we will see how we can create those to make an impact via the dashboard because those numbers grabs the attention of the end user uh, because of the higher in font size they they basically say that they are the important one for as, as far as this dashboard is concerned so I'll show you how you can create it in two different ways uh, also a quick information that this sheet is present in the description so if you need it you can find it from the description and get the link and keep it with yourself so that you can search any of the Power BI tutorial which I have posted or I will be posting in the future and you have even the link of the YouTube video which on which you can directly jump in case if you're looking for that topic all right now let's go ahead and see the card kpi within power bi all right so here we are within the power bi and the card kpi is present over here so if i click it over here this is a very simple square box which is present over here if we select this uh, these are just one field is what it needs so what let's say we take is basically sales so right now we have 14.9 million in sales if we increase or decrease nothing will going to happen and you will see that uh, you can put it like a small kpi and so this is for sales let's say we create one more for the profit and this is our next kpi that on this sale this is the profit that we are making uh, similarly we can create n number of kpi so this is the basic idea about why you would require it however you have the option of formatting it after this basic configuration so we have selected this and in the formatting you will see that we have this option of data label what should be the color that uh, color should be green or something else uh, or black or it should be conditionally uh, colored so that is also possible i've shown you in a couple of previous videos as to how you can conditionally color it uh, how do you want to display the units i think uh, right now the by default in automatic you have the millions coming i think that is fine i will leave it uh, let's select it again go into the formatting uh, you have the word wrap in case uh, uh, there is a lot of text then word wrapping is is useful you have the category color category is nothing but sales if you think this is very light or you want to choose a different color altogether uh, then this is how you can choose it a different color so that it is visible similarly these settings are available for profit that means for each individual card kpi but apart from that if you will see that rest of the settings so rest of the formatting is the same like title background so on and so forth uh, but i want to show you another way of how you would going to create the uh, this kpi uh, using which is called as the Q&A box so if I just select the Q&A box so what ask a question about your data so total furniture all right total furniture sales if I select that that is my number or my KPI which I am getting so that means if you want to give some flexibility to your end user you can give like this total furniture sales okay similarly you can ask the question uh, or what it has suggested if 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 you have seen that total office supply sale or total technology sale that way you have much better control or your end user have a much better control as to what information they want to see and if you don't have anything if you just remove everything it won't show you anything it's like try one of these to get started what is a profit ratio by customer segment right so you can you can do that uh, this entire thing in this ask me you can expand it if let's say uh, there is a lot of things which which is wants to show then you can do this but 
in case if you want to show it as a kpi or a dynamic kpi then i suggest up until this one and you know keep showing your results as it is coming so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next topic